Hey everybody, it's Chance from Aquascape here to show you guys uh, some more of my Immerse Aquatics. This here is Pogo Stamen Stellatus Type 2. Uh, it is an awesome aquatic. Uh, it just recently came into flower. You can see there's still some inflorescence here doing their thing. It's a very pretty flower. I wish I could have showed you guys it in, in full, a full spike of it going. Uh, but I got here a little bit late. So if we go over to the, one of the more dried out flower spikes here, uh, we can actually get one of the old flowers and inside the old flowers here there's actually seeds uh, doing their thing ready to be planted if I can get it to zoom it's hard to they're really small so it's really hard to get an actual shot of them the little specks there um, but they will fully flower and seed out for you as long as you have the right critters to pollinate them or if you do it yourself I haven't tried to self pollinate these yet they're naturally pollinated by all the lovely critters we have here in South Florida. So, um, But something else cool, uh, right over there is Pogo Stamen Stellatus Type 1, uh, also in flower. Uh, possibility of interspecific hybridization is possible, who knows, uh, with the way there's no control here, so it's just nature doing their thing. Uh, typically when you have two species of the same genus next to each other, things happen. So. Who knows, uh, may not even be distinguishable as far as a look, so not important either. But back to type two, it's a really cool plant. I mean, you can see here the submerged growth uh, just in a bowl of water. You know, obviously no CO2 or anything crazy, but yeah, it lives well in a non-CO2 environment as long as things are stable. Obviously this bowl just gets topped off. There's no real craziness involved in maintenance. <clears throat> and then you go to the type one here, uh, some of the submerged growth on it gets extremely purple, uh, really pretty, especially because it gets blasted by the Florida sun here. Uh, one more bowl over, I have Stellatus broadleaf. My <laughs> little sprigs of it that I have left, but it managed to flower. And I'll take some cuttings and get it going again. They grow like weeds. I just kind of neglected the, this whole genus, this whole area that I have going here, the Pogo stamen genus. But yeah. Really cool, really cool genus, really cool flowers. They make great plants for paludariums because uh, when they do start out as aquatic and then you let them grow emergent, uh, they will flower for you and you get these awesome flowers. So, yep. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or message me. Uh, again, please, please, please like, subscribe, and share these videos if you want to see more. I have plenty plenty of other aquatics to share with you guys. I keep over 250 species of aquatics and actively try to flower them all. So lots of information to share with you. But please like, subscribe, and share, and yeah, let me know how you think.